Well, growing up in Gibraltar in the 80s, I recall the 5th of November and those bonfires and going down to them wearing my woolly hat, my scarf, my gloves and my big coat. It's the 8th of November 2022. It's a little after half six in the evening and a relatively mild evening. We've been having a lot of those lately. Tonight, it's down here at Campe El Guari. We've just seen a few people swimming. Admittedly, a few of them do swim all year round, but we have seen many more people swimming, people who don't usually swim in the autumn and winter months. We've also had a number of people down there playing tablita, as if it were August. Very pleasant weather, very nice weather. We're blessed November, but are we blessed, Janet? I think uh, talking to everybody on a daily basis, uh, I think many are, are happy with the weather, but at the same time very concerned no? about uh, th what's behind that and the fact that um, it's not normal. Uh, the sun on Sunday was was burning and I think uh, on the back of the summer that we've had that's been so hot and um, that has seen so many fires and so many disasters in different places related to the, to the dry weather. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a fact that the world is warming up and Gibraltar is starting to feel it now. Janet, today you've issued a communique. COP27 is happening in Egypt. Um, government did commit itself um, to the climate strategy. Um, remind us some of those issues on that climate strategy because you're calling for an audit, for accountability, for a checklist. What are those uh, items um, in the climate strategy and where should we be with them now? Well, the, the strategy was delayed a little bit in its uh, release because of COVID, basically it interrupted a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So it started off a bit later. Um, and the fact is that under the Department of Environment, the Ministry for the Environment, um, it got a really big push and it was released in uh, November 21. Uh, already within the strategy, there were targets that we realized would already be somewhat delayed because of COVID. But what we are asking for now is for the whole of government and even at cross party level, uh, recognizes an understanding that despite all the other issues facing Gibraltar today, that this has to keep moving forward. It's a, it's a priority for all governments everywhere. If you listen to the discussions coming out of Egypt today, it's frightening and it's horrendous. And it's so serious that we can't miss any more uh, opportunities. Where are our carbon emissions from? Well, we sell oil here, we sell oil to vehicles across the border. We're still running secondhand buses, which are very polluting. Uh, we want to move to electric vehicles and there is traction. There are things happening, but within the target itself, you've got 2022 deadlines, you've got 25 deadlines, you've got 2030 deadlines. And we need to see in, in a realistic way how Gibraltar is able to meet those targets and what are the problems and how as a community we can understand and support and help make these changes. So perhaps your concern being government has committed itself, government has uh, published this uh, climate strategy, climate strategy, um, but perhaps they've said they're going to do it, but perhaps they're not putting the energy into it. Perhaps they are, perhaps they aren't. Uh, we don't think that they are as a government um, and that's why we think we have to keep this out there in the headlines, we have to have more discussion, we have government needs to respond to a community that contacts us with our concerns about um, the, the visual absence of anything happening. So we need government to step up its own uh, discourse and uh, give this, uh, this problem greater publicity by way of informing the community directly, by way of a checklist, by way of information on how the strategy is being implemented and even if there's a delay, which we understand, how this is being handled. It has to be handled and it has to be handled by top of government uh, at cross-party level um, and this is a crisis. We have to act now.